Hi, welcome to this video on how to create GPX files from the maps that you create in a couple of different programs. Recently, Honda Trip Planner retired their program that we used to use to create maps and create GPX files. Today, we'll review two options I found where you can create GPX files that you can download into your Goldwing. The first option will be the Harley-Davidson Ride Planner, and the second option will be Google. Let's first look at the Harley Ride Planner. In order to create maps, you will need to create an account. If you go out to the Harley-Davidson Ride Planner link, you'll be able to create an account for free. Once you've created your account, then log into your account and click on Create. Create a starting location. In both programs, we're going to create a quick route between Torrey and Escalante. You can just type in the beginning and end location, or you can enter locations along the way, or you can zoom in and add waypoints, starting and ending locations, and destinations. What's also helpful is you can click on waypoints along the way. If you wanted to take a little detour and go out to Burr Trail, you could add a waypoint out there and then come back in and either type Escalante or select Escalante as your destination. In order to see all the waypoints, you need to turn on list waypoints. Then you'll see this waypoint that we created out here. One thing nice about Harley-Davidson is you can drag the maps similar to Google. In order to keep this simple, I'm just going to have a couple of waypoints. The next thing you need to do is to name your map. You will not be able to export it unless it has a name. We're going to call this Escalante. Then over to the right, we're going to save the ride. And then we're going to click on Save Ride. Once the ride has been saved, then you can export the ride to GPX. Click on Export to GPX and you'll notice here that it is downloading the Escalante GPX into your download folder. These GPX files will not only work on Harley-Davidson, but they're also going to work on the Honda Goldwing. Later, we'll show you how to copy these files onto a thumb drive and then load them into the Honda Goldwing. The next mapping tool that we're going to review is Google. Now the great thing about Google is that everyone knows Google and it's super user friendly. You just type in the waypoints as you go. And then we'll add a destination of Escalante. You can also come further down the road and add waypoints. They call them destinations in Google. But again, for simplicity's sake, we're just going to leave it a start and end with one waypoint. There is a limitation with Google that you can have a maximum of 10 waypoints. 10 waypoints may seem like a lot, but on a day ride, you will very quickly use up those 10 waypoints. So what we've done in the past is create a morning ride of 10 waypoints and an afternoon ride of 10 waypoints. Again, just a limitation you need to work around. So great, we got this map. Now what? So the next thing is you're going to need a way to create a GPX file. I found this program called Maps to GPX. It really is a great way to build GPX files from Google Maps. The advantage is it's free, but also because it's free, you're going to have to deal with all of these ads and solicitation for donations, but it is a free program. And you'll notice here, you need to input the URL of your Google Map and hit go. So how do you get a URL? All you need to do is come back to your Google Map, click on details, click on the share option, which is this little arrows, and that will create the Google URL. The next thing you need to do is click on copy link, come back to the map to GPX, paste the link, and then hit let's go. It might take a little bit because it has to go back to their servers and create the file. In just a second here, you're going to see that it creates a GPX file from the Google map. However, one disadvantage is it gives it this arbitrary name. So that what I recommend is immediately after you create the file is you come out to the download directory and you click on the file so that it allows you to rename the file 
and then call it the name of the ride. We're going to call it Escalante Google, just so we remember that that one was created with Google. And you'll see here that we've got the Harley Davidson Escalante file and then the Escalante file we created with Google. So either one of these files will work in the Honda Goldwing. The next step is to copy the downloaded files to a thumb drive and then take them to your Honda Goldwing and import them. First, let's locate the GPX files that you downloaded. By default, these will download to your download folder. Click on the folder to open your downloads folder. You will notice here that we have all of the GPX files in the downloaded folder. Next, insert your thumb drive. And you'll notice when you insert it that this USB drive pops up on your folders. Click on the USB thumb drive to open the thumb drive. You'll want to delete any files that you have on the thumb drive. You can do this by clicking on the file and hitting delete. Make sure you delete all the files that are on the thumb drive. Right now you see here that the thumb drive is empty. Then click on your downloads folder again. Locate the GPX files that you downloaded. Holding the shift key down on your keyboard, click on each of the GPX files that you want to copy to the thumb drive. Hover over the files, then drag them to the USB thumb drive. This will copy the downloaded files to your thumb drive. Then click on the thumb drive to verify that they are there. Once the files are on your thumb drive, then remove the thumb drive from your computer. On your bike, make sure it is updated with all the latest navigation software. Next, let's learn how to load these files onto your Goldwing and how to use them. Okay, so the next step is, is you take the USB and you plug it into your bike. Select Home to get to the main menu. Scroll to Navigation. Select Navigation. Hit Enter. Select Menu. Scroll to Routes. Select Routes. Scroll to Import Route. Select Import All. Scroll to your first route. We're going to select one Tuesday to Palmdale. Select. Select Set Destination. Select Go. Next, let's review how to delete a waypoint while you're driving. This is one activity you can complete while driving the Goldwing. Don't delete a waypoint before you need it, but if it ends up being one of those waypoints that keeps putting you in a U-turn, you can quickly delete it while driving. You can't use the center toggle to navigate. You have to use the controls on the left, but you can do this while driving. To delete a waypoint, select Enter. Select Clear Waypoint. Select the waypoints you need to remove and select it. Select Yes to delete. It will recalculate your destination. To proceed, click Go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this how-to video. If you do, click like and follow at the bottom of this video for more how-to videos. Enjoy the ride!